There are a lot of habits that may deplete our energy levels as a good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures for anything. Mm -hmm. However, we've put together as usual five habits that are killing your energy. So sit back and relax because this is Daily Top 5. five four, three, two, one, Let watch go. me. All right, so the first habit that's killing your energy is scrolling in the morning. Oh. Try praying, Muslim, Christian, whichever religion you practice. Pray! Your morning sets the tone for the rest of the day, okay? So try to make it count. When you flood your brain with cortisol and on air dopamine in the morning, you may feel sluggish for the rest of the day. So try this. First, Keep your phone out of reach. Lol. Second, set a no phone rule for the first hour. Yeah, right. Third, use an alarm <laughs> clock instead. Okay. If I, I yeah. Clock. I actually think this is very true. Yeah, it is. This happened to me this morning. <laughs> I was very energized yesterday. Yeah. Like I had a lot of energy. I slept. Then I woke up. You know, the first thing is phone. iPhone. <laughs> that doesn't I mean. think it was Dala that called me this morning. And I said to Dala, I don't know. My energy is low. Energy was high yesterday. What's happening today? So I think this is very right. Very, very right. See, is it I know it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard because you just want to quickly, oh no, I don't wake up. Wait till they have social media. Let's, mm, let's go you to want threads. To check what's going on. Let's yeah. check Twitter. Let's check Especially when you have notifications. Yeah. Come on, man. I think we should also have a way of, like, when you sleep, don't let the phone close to you. Like, keep it far away from you. Man, the phone will be my alarm. Yeah, yeah. now phone, they... <laughs> do you have an alarm clock, Dipple? I have. I actually have an alarm clock. Alar yeah. Do you oh. use it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End of discussion. So, uh, yeah, I totally agree with this one, too. And I feel like going to bed uh, with the rays and then waking up to the rays of the... Mm. Phone screen is something that sometimes might even end up affecting some people's eyes because mm. some people even have eye issues. Mm. So we need to stay away from our phones for at least, even if one eye is too much, at least 30 to 20 I can see minutes. how you people are avoiding the prayer part. No, so that's the point. When you wake up in the morning, OG normally, the first thing you do is pray. Of course. When you wake up, you pray. It's not just when you wake up. Every not, time. Not carry the phone, oh, oh Lord, I've woken up and I, as I wake up. No. But I in the case where your Bible is on your phone, oh. you now have to carry the phone. They don't come. Which is why you need to buy they a Bible. Instagram notification will No, come. you need to buy a Bible. That's where I'm going. Okay. So do your prayers, read why your Bible. You, buy, you, can, you have it on your phone now. So you can be Then you're back on your phone. I'm on one guy who just sent me Then you now see message or picture. Oh, Jay, where they sleep off with phone for your hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. And number two, holding on to anger and resentment. Mm. Holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Mm, what? Anger won't change the past, but it will ruin the present. And forgiveness is not about letting others off the hook. It's about freeing yourself from the weight of resentment. So try to forgive not for them, but for you. Yes, I totally agree with this one. And um, I don't care. This is, this is something I... <laughs> what? Now, why are you not told that, this? Wow! <laughs> Hey! Yes, well. Ah, I'm waiting for the comeback. <laughs> but but, but, but this, this is a very hard one based on draining your energy for the day. Because you did bottle things for mine. You don't get messy for mine. So you can imagine you put this over in your mind. Maybe the person will not see you. Person the person not notice. Person even no notice. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. Ah, uh, Tolu Lamidi. <laughs> Tolu Lamidi is the producer. Oh, yeah, God, I'm calling people out on the show. <laughs> Producers of Reality Check, yeah, Art Express, Express, presenter and everything. Oh, my. Tolu, you the best for Tolu. But she's not... Hey, Archie! Like, I'm actually vexing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling? You're supposed to... Yeah, so shout out to people that will just... Yeah, it has happened, but they've moved on. From yeah. Tolu because you mm. need to make yourself lighter. And... So something that works for me is um, when, whenever I have issues with people, I like to try to talk it out and then let it go. That's why I tell people, if you have an issue with someone, talk to the person about it, because sometimes when you're keeping things in mind and you bottle Easy up, down, yeah. the day that you're going to explode, it will be something that is not even up to anything that will happen, and then you just explode. Yeah. And they'll be like, ah, what's going happen? What's thing I do? But you won't know that there's been a whole lot that's been bottled up, dream. exactly, yeah. which is why it's always best to go to bed in a good state of mind. Okay, so, try. I mean, it's okay, it's human. 
yeah. to be upset about of something. It's human to be angry. It's mm -hmm. human to feel all those emotions. But I have a number one rule, and, and that's even with the woman I'm going to marry. I say, you know what? We're never going to go to bed uh -huh. angry. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like that's a rule. Like no matter how bad it is, we should be able to talk. Let each other see. So when someone is angry, there, there are two people involved. One person is shouting, two people are shouting. You can't hear yourself. So it's best, okay, you know, let's just cool off. And then before we go to bed, let's talk about it. Let's actually talk. j -pop, Mr. Flames. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next point is uh, not moving yourself. Mm. Your body is designed to move. Don't let it become a stagnant masterpiece. Like, are you a mannequin? Uh-uh. Your health is an investment, not an expense. So a lack of movement hurts more than just your physical health. Try this. Find enjoyable activities. Start small and gradually increase intensity. Schedule regular exercise sessions. Incorporate movement into your daily life if you cannot exercise. And this is something that I have told a couple of people. If you know you can't go to the gym or you know there are things that people do and you're like, hey, who won't do this one? The easiest thing to do, which we spoke earlier, yeah. is take a walk. Yeah, Walking yeah. alone, moving your body about, that helps. And then um, there was this time I used to work out a lot. And then I got very busy because of work and everything. So I started feeling weak and tired easily and everything. So what I started doing was I activated the step counter on my phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every day I was giving myself, I started with 6,000. From 6,000 steps, I moved to 8,000. From 8,000, I moved to 10. From 10, I moved to 12. Yeah. And, yeah, well, so... I mean, for this one, works. I think there's an ultimate rule in the universe that anything that stops to move starts to die, mm -hmm. to decay. It's just even in, in, in offices, in anywhere, if a country is, is not moving, they start to decay, deterioration, you know. Even in the blood, in the system, if you're not moving, your blood will start to clot. Okay. You know, if there's no movement, and then when it clots, you start to die. You know, so you have to keep moving, keep moving, and that's why... Old age, people are moving. Just keep moving. If you, if you, if a man who is as who has always been active, you know, in active service, yeah. by the time he stops, mm -hmm. he tells, he tells, yeah, you know, he, he starts does. to age. He starts to, you know, so you have to just keep, keep moving. And that's why yeah. when you put your leg in some position and you start having uh, what they call paja paja in English, <laughs> yeah, that thing that let's, you cut your leg. Dog, let, let's move on. To, let's move on to the next one. At number four, lack of sunlight. Sunlight is nature's way of filling our bodies with joy and vitality. So try to spend time outdoors. Don't stay in your car all day. <laughs> Open curtains or blinds and let natural light into your living space. <laughs> Ojo just stepped out of this WhatsApp group. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like light <laughs> that so, all day. Every so there day. are people that like to stay in their rooms with the curtains drawn. Darkness. Example, the growing child. But you know you need sunlight to grow. Oh, and you're a growing child. Nice one. Yes, it helps you grow well. It's part of the vitamins. <laughs> but then, at the end of the day, uh, this is very needed. But too much sunlight can burn your skin. Yeah, true. And can cause sunburn. Yeah. So you need to know the time when the sun is not too harsh and then get some vitamins and get sunlight. Yeah, just let the light through because light brings with it, you know, happiness and yeah. joy. Just let it through. Expose yourself to, you know, to light. And last but not the least, thank you, Mr. J. Paul. <laughs> last but not the least, eating a lot of over-processed food. Really? Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. You are what you eat, so do not, I repeat, try not to be a regular fast food eater. Ah. Try to choose whole on processed food. Cook meals at home, even though pepper is expensive. Using fresh ingredients, okay? Mm -hmm. A word is enough for the wise. I mean, this one I learned from my mom. Um, she, she just clocked 16. She doesn't even look it. She eats a lot of vegetables, you know, afang soup, all that stuff. And then I even saw something on social media recently, a 90-something-year-old woman, and they asked her what was her secret. She was very vibrant and everything. What's your secret? She said she doesn't eat outside. Yeah. Like, she can't remember the last time she ate outside. Mm -hmm. So she buys her food. She makes everything by herself, you know. My mom... Oh, I you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Like, it's very important, yeah. very important. Like, you have to, like, the salt, the pepper, everything, the water Moderate. is important. It's important. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on today's Daily Top 5. We hope we've been able to educate you and you've learned one or two things. We'll be